Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We as the servants of Allah are perhaps at times negligent of the close relationship that Allah Rabbul Izza wants us to have with Him. Allah Rabbul Izza wants that we become His beloveds and that we take Him as our beloved. And many times we think that we have to work very hard to attain a relationship of that nature, that we have to first love Allah, then He will love us. We need to please Him, then He will be happy with us. Uh, we need to remember Him, then He will remember us. Uh, we need to turn to Him in Tawbah and He will forgive us. Imam Qurtubi rahimahullah said that he had this misconception. Then he read the Noble Quran and he came across the verse in which Allah Rabbul Izzah says, يُحِبُّهُمْ وَيُحِبُّونَهُ That Allah loves them and they love Him. Meaning that before we even begin to love Allah, Allah's love is already there for us. And he says that, he read the verse, رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُمْ وَرَضُوا عَنْ That Allah is pleased with them and they are pleased with Him. وَمَا يَذْكُرُونَ إِلَّا أَنْ يَشَاءَ اللَّهِ That Allah remembers them and they remember Allah. ثُمَّ تَابَ عَلَيْمْ لِيَتُوبُ Allah turns to them and then they turn to Him in Tawbah. So in all of these verses what we see is that Allah Rabbul Izza is so to say taking the initiative in gaining closeness to His own servant. Subhanallah, what a close relationship. And the one step that we take to Allah, Allah is so appreciative. In a hadith Quds, Allah Rabbul Izza says that when my servant comes to me one hand span, I come to him one arm's length. When he comes to me one arm's length, I come to him one cubit's length. When he comes to me walking, I come to him running. And then he becomes so close to me that I become the eyes with which he sees, the ears with which he hears, the legs with which he walks. And when he asks from me, I grant him. When you seek protection from, from me for anything, I grant him that protection. That is how close the relationship with Allah is. Allah Rabbul Izzah says that, Ya ibadi, O oh my servant, Ya abdi, Kullun yuriduka li nafsika. Everyone has an objective for relationship. If you look at all the relationships in this world, a parent has children, perhaps, that uh, the, parent, the children will keep the lineage going. Children will inherit the money. Children will serve the parent uh, when the parent is old. So there's an objective between the parent and child relationship. When you look at, you know, a marriage between husband and wife, each one in enters a marriage with a, their own objectives, uh, you know, for emotional companionship, uh, for physical intimacy. That is the objective. When you look at friendship, there's also objective that someone can be there when I need the person. But Allah says that everybody wants you for their own purpose. They have a self-centered purpose in their relationship or they want with you. But I want you for your own benefit. Meaning I benefit nothing from your relationship. It is for your own benefit to have a relationship with me. This is the only relationship which there's no self motive because if every person becomes as pious as Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi or any per, every person become as evil as Abu Jahl, this does not diminish the kingdom of Allah. And finally, there is a hadith of Quds in which Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says that, in what words and the way in which Allah says it, that, Ya Abdi, O my servant, Inni muhibbun lak. O my servant, I love you. فبحق حبي عليك and because of the right of my love upon you, كن لي محبة محبة. You have to now become my beloved. You have to become a lover of mine. You have to dedicate yourself to my love. So this is the close relationship that Allah has with His servants. A relationship of love. Uh, and therefore, in the 99 names of Allah, uh, one of His names is Al-Wadud, the one who loves, who exhibits love, who shows love, uh, who reciprocates love. And we need to look at Allah in that particular light, that He is our beloved. Uh, he is the one who wants what is for our own benefit. And He is calling towards us that we should turn towards Him and He will forgive us. We should ask from Him 
and he will grant us, we should make tawbah, and he will overlook our sins. Ya Allah, we make dua that you make us beloved to you and that you grant us your true love.